bring back Dr. Jack Miller, a senior political science instructor at Portland State University, to help us break down the results of this congressional race in District 5. What do you make of these two things? The McLeod Skinner Kurt Schrader race right now. She's holding on to a 7,000 vote lead. And this statement issued a half hour ago by the Secretary of State. You know, I think it's interesting. The Secretary of State, I think, is, is really just channeling. Uh, our general desire for instant gratification, we want to know right mm-hmm. now uh, who won, and we're used to knowing right now. And I think that, you know, because of things that have gone on since the 2020 presidential election, uh, secretaries of state around the country are concerned about any sense of irregularity or impropriety. Um, but, it's, you know, it's good to know that she also said that the result is going to be accurate and it's going to be uh, transparent. It's just going to take longer than we Americans are typically used to one waiting one for. Um, and, you know, it's I would say that probably it's more frustrating for people like uh, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders and President Biden. And, you know, the people who are looking to that race as a way of being a bellwether for which direction the Democratic Party is going. They're going to have to wait possibly a month to find out who is going to be the Democratic nominee. So no one's going to be able to make an election night mandate claim that the progressive wing or the moderate wing of the Democratic Party is ascendant in this district. So I, I think that frustration is coming through as well.